And at Westpac, I mean, obviously you keep an eye on your competitors. Do you fear more the small, nimble disruptors that you perhaps don't see coming, or do you fear giants like Google and Apple and what they may do in the space, given and well, Facebook yeah. has yeah. 600 million users? Like, yeah. What if they got into banking? Yeah. <coughs> um, so I'll answer that from my perspective, the CIO at Westpac. I don't fear any of them. I'm excited, I'm excited by all of it. Um, I think the days of this four big banks in mm. Australia competing with each other, um, and that's the conversation, I think those days are over. It doesn't mean to say the four major banks aren't competing with mm. each other, they are, but there's now an and in that competition. And so it's and now the big technology companies, and now all the small startups. Mm. Interestingly though, we, you know, the startups, as the startups become successful, they're being bought. Yep. Um, so the mm. competition tends to still be at the larger so scale. What happened with happened in the media industry. Yeah. Exactly. You allow them to disrupt so much and then you buy them. Exactly. And you know, you know, <laughs> Most conversations you have with startups that you don't, they won't actually answer, and I wouldn't if I was them, saying, what's your exit strategy? <laughs> yeah. what, 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 what's your plan? What's there's, your price? Yeah, there's, yeah. there's a great um, cartoon going around at the moment, which is a, you know, a bank with a lot of small fish going at it, and then a big fish coming along eating the small fish, and that, that's the kind of world we're living in. I keep coming back to, if that, is, if that is having us look at where we are inefficient, where we have friction, where we are not providing a service a customer needs, then being cognitive of that and doing things about that, it has to be positive. So I don't use the word fear of them, I actually embrace the fact it's happening. I love conversations I have with people like Matt and the, the reinvention team, because it's like, you leave the meeting and go, wow, I just hadn't thought about that. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that's all really exciting. It does, though, mean how long is the world we think of as, you know, every conversation is about the four banks. It's still the dominant conversation. How long does that go for? I don't have the answer for that, but it's certainly becoming a more broad conversation. Um, uh, Google, yeah. Apple? Yeah, 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 big players, mm. big players. Uh, I mean, Apple money hasn't, well, I think we'll get to that a little bit with, with Bruce, but yeah. it hasn't been a huge success yet, but um, yeah. I mean, these are well cashed up. But they're very well yeah. cashed up. I mean, back to our previous conversation, mm. I, th I think Australia, because it has a leading position in many areas, mm. you know, and payments is absolutely one of mm. those, because something's been hugely successful in America that's not actually as advanced in that area, it doesn't mean it will naturally mm -hmm. translate here. It doesn't mean to say it's not a disruption and you have to be aware of it, but it doesn't. Not everything translates cross cross border. Mm.